Yes, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to GAA Fan TV. Westmead have just been in leash by 3 points, 113 to 13 points, and this is the instant match reaction to that game. Of course, first of all, if you are new around here, do drop that subscribe button, hit that like button. Uh, on this channel, we do absolutely everything GAA, football, hurling, um, talking about the championship, the National League, and much more other stuff to come in the future. And yeah, what a result this was for Westmead. Three point victory over Leash. Um, and yeah, Westmead, of course, who won the O'Burn Cup earlier in the year, now have another trophy to their name. Um, be it, of course, you know, the Division 3, the O'Burn Cup. They're not exactly high prestigious tournaments in. Uh, GAA football but look listen you know you can only win what's in front of you you can only beat what's in front of you and fair play to Westmead you know the division three has been a weird campaign it's been very up and down you know at one stage it looked like down we're going to be in the in the, you know in the in the final of division three and they were going to get promoted it was just a bit all over the place but Westmead have a, a lot of character a lot of very talented players and I definitely was impressed with them in this game I thought they controlled the game very early on um, they were always kind of in control of this game I like the way they play, you know, they don't really hit long balls or anything like that. It's mostly just um, hand passes, um, very quick, intricate play. Um, and the likes of Jerry Egan, of course, was uh, was absolutely fantastic in this game. Um, and, of course, uh, John Heslin as well. I thought he was uh, pretty decent as well. Um, and, yeah, Westmead were, were in control very early on. I did think Leash carried a bit of a threat with the long ball up to uh, Donny Kingston and Sean Kingston. But Westmead dealt with it very, very well. And despite, you know, a couple of black cards here and there, the likes of Bolu Saya getting sent off early in the second half, um, but or, or getting the black card, should I say, Westmead recovered um, and they were they were very comfortable really in the end. The decisive moment, of course, came in the second half when the leash goalkeeper look listen, I'm not too sure what he was doing here. He he done this quite a lot uh, throughout the game. Um, where he just kind of dribble out like into the middle of the field to try join the leash attack and it, you know it, it's smart play in some ways because obviously you're giving yourself the extra man you know when you're when you're moving forward but there's always that risk that you might lose the ball that you might leave your team exposed and it was a bit of naivety I don't think he'll do that too much more anymore um, you know he gives the ball away Westmead counter um, and to be fair to Westmead, they didn't panic. You know, they, they didn't just go for goal straight away. They tried to work the the best angle that they could. Heslin played it into Egan, uh, and it was a good finish. You know, there was still some leash players kind of blocking the goal a little bit. So it was still a fantastic finish in the end from the uh, uh, from Jerry Egan. So um, leash, you know, they might want to look at that a bit more maybe because these two do actually play each other, I believe, in the Leinster Championship in the coming weeks. So that will be very interesting to see um, how that game goes. But all in all, really good performance from uh, from Westmead. They controlled the game. They were they were more dominant in attack. Um, Leisha felt like in the closing stages panicked a bit. A lot of long balls in towards Kingston, um, and Westmead were were able really to to deal with them quite comfortably. So yeah, guys, very exciting now going into the Leinster Championship. I'm going to be dropping a number of videos around. The Leinster Championship, the Ulster Championship, the Munster Championship, and of course the Connacht Championship. I'm going to do previews for all of them, so do watch out for them. As I said before, if you are new around here, do drop that subscribe button. Fair play to Westmead. I felt like they would have enough, uh, you know, with the momentum, having watched them against Loud. Uh, I felt like they'd have the momentum coming into this game. They sure did in the end. They go up as Division Three champions, and yeah, Westmead back on the rise, it seems. So, yeah, guys, anyway. That has been the end of the video. My name is Aaron and I'll see you all next time.